Hey you guys, it's not Cabernet A, it is just me and A and Lydia. Back for more Pretty Little Liars The Abridged episode. Originally Lydia was going to be a British exchange student, um, but now she's just a typical American girl. Maybe she's playing both sides, who knows. Yeah. One year later, Ali's still missing. You and the girls are closer than ever, but emerging secrets and the return of a past love threaten to tear your new life apart. Let's start episode two. One year later. Allie never came back. For months, all of Rosewood searched, but Allie left us nothing to find. People were starting to lose hope that she would ever return. Mm, I don't think anyone was hoping she would return. Maybe her, like, obviously her parents were hoping that she'd return, but everyone at Rosewood High? No, they were happy she was gone. But me? I wasn't so sure. Because I couldn't shake this feeling that Allie was still out there. And that she knew the secret hidden in my locket. That night at Spencer's barn was one of the worst of my life. But it was also the night I made the best friends I'll ever have. Allie's secrets brought us together. But it was our own secrets that would keep us close forever. Hannah stopped overeating and got really into fashion. What, you mean the fact that when her bully left, she felt better? God, I'm shocked. I'm just flabbergasted. But that led to a new bad habit. Shoplifting. Why? What? How? How do you correlate stopping an eating disorder with shoplifting? Like, no, the two aren't related. She didn't... No, no, no. Lydia, no. You're wrong. I so thought you were gonna get busted. Her friend Mona taught her everything she needed to know about stealing. Nice glasses. Nice scarf. Allie was right about Spencer going after her sister's boyfriends. Her sister got engaged to a cute British guy named Ren. But when he came to visit, Spencer charmed him a little too much. You're not like my sister's usual boyfriends. How am I unusual? I actually like you. Slow. Spencer wasn't the only one hiding a relationship. Arya was too. But hers was a whole different story. Oh boy, was it. Right now I'm thinking I want to major in English. And guess I can't escape it. My friends always call me the artsy one. I'm, I'm so artsy. It's just, I can't help it. What about you? Just graduated, actually. I'm starting my first teaching job this semester. Oh, okay. Like, that, wait, no, so, wait, hold, sorry, what? No. Arya and Ezra moved fast once they met, but nothing could prepare her for what happened next. Welcome to English 201. I'm Mr. Fitz. Bitch, you are not shocked. <laughs> She's shocked. He's not shocked. And we know why he's not shocked. But that's for an, a later story. But yeah. And Arya shouldn't be that shocked. She was pretending to be older. So just deal with the, your lies, okay? And, like, that should be the end of that. Okay, you had a flirtatious me in the bathroom, 
and then you found out he was a teacher, your teacher in your high school, so he knows you're underage, you know he's an adult. That's it. That's it. End of story. That should be the end of the story. Emily became really close with Maya, the girl who moved into Ali's house after her parents packed up and left. Are you ready to tell your mom about us? She doesn't need to know everything about me. These were the kind of secrets that were never meant to come out. But one by one, they did. What would your parents think about your new man? He's not her new man. They just had a fling in a bathroom. <sighs> hey, Anne, did you at least get your good goodbye kiss? Here's one from me, XO. That's the wrong TV show. <laughs> A didn't forget about me. Who knew a secret so big could fit into a locket so small? It'd be a shame if Blair found out what you've been hiding. We had no idea who was texting us, and the threats were getting worse. M! You okay? Art is ruining my life. <laughs> Ugh, what did she do now? She said she'd tell mom about Maya. That we kissed. So, it's no big deal. I'm a lesbian. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> anyway. Um, I'm so sorry. No one should have to come out this way. This is getting out of control. I'm calling the girls. Really? Like, not the police? Why are you calling the girls? We need to start fighting back. Just, like, change your number. Okay, guys. Who the hell is A? Okay, Lydia. Strong language. I don't know, but she's starting to do more than just threaten me. She told my sister I kissed Ren. Well, maybe you... That's not, like, that's not the problem here, Spencer, okay? The fact that you kissed Ren is the problem. Come on. I can't be the only one thinking this has Allie written all over it. She was always messing with our heads. And now it's like she's making up for lost time or something. Hannah, Allie's gone. Gone, gone. It's been a year. We don't know that, Aria. They never found a body. Look, I don't really care who A is. All that matters is we, that we hunt her down and stop her. That sounds like real... Coming from Spencer, That's that would scare me. Oh no! Oh, sigh, sigh. Did you all get this? Yep. Well, isn't this precious? Five little liars all together. You really want to know who I am? Follow the girl in green. What the? What? girl in green. Oh, over there. Oh my god! That's Blair Burke! 
My Blair from Riverbank. You know, the one that I mentioned the first day I ever met you, and then Allie mysteriously disappeared? What? I don't remember yesterday. <laughs> okay, this is freaking me out. Uh, she's more beautiful than ever. Mmm, she's a little too skinny for my taste. Did A already get to her? Lydia! Oh, um, oh my gosh, Blair! Okay, Lydia, be cool. Well, 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 fancy meeting you here. Hey, shouldn't that be my line? I'm the one who lives in Rosewood after all. I can't believe it's been a year. How are you? How am I? I'm nowhere near over you. Oh, be sweet or keep your guard up. Um, okay, so I think we're guilty about a secret that we're hiding from Blair, and we also think that she knows. We think that A has been texting her, so I'm going to keep my guard up. I'm doing really well, but Blair, what are you doing here? I just moved here. Remember my aunt from Rosewood? I'm staying with her for a while. Oh wow, that's great. You look amazing. We have to take a reunion selfie. It'll make our friends back home so jealous. Okay, sure. This is really keeping your guard up. Like... Keeping a guard up would be like, no, no, let's not take a selfie. No, let's keep this private just between us. Uh, what's so funny? Do I look weird? No, you look beautiful. But your friend over there looks pretty funny. keep this a secret. That was fun. So wait, Blair, you just decided to move to Rosewood? There's nothing else that brought you here? I really hope A had nothing to do with this. Well, I did hear that I could find you here. We thinking exclamation points. Hey, I'd love to talk to you. It's important. Shoot, I have to go. My aunt's gonna be home. Meet me there later, after you're done with your friends. We'd have the place to ourselves. Of course. I'd rather not. Um, yeah, we need to find out what this bitch knows. Of course. Let me just finish up here. I'll meet you there. Awesome. Hey, also, I got invited to this party at Noel Khan's house tonight. I thought it was Noel, Noel Khan's cabin. Are you going? Um. Yes! She's going! Ha 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 ha! Great. I get to hang out with you twice in one day. That's a good start. We were going to meet you later, so that's going to be three times in one day. Oh, bye. bye. Bye then. Bye. Nobody says bye. Really, Han? What? Ellie said to follow the girl in green. Who, by the way, is hot. And I'm totally straight. Nice work, Lydia. She is hot. I'd forgotten just how hot. But she's just a Friend. Then how come you're smiling like that? Lydia, this is huge. Maybe you guys can finally be together. Maybe Arya's right. Maybe Blair and I can finally start over. Yes, this is the perfect time to start over when I'm getting mysterious text messages from a threatening person that reminds me of Alison De Laurentiis. 
the girl I knew for five hours and uh, apparently knew all her secrets in those five hours. Yes, that's a perfect time to start a relationship. Okay, back to business. Allie said to follow the girl in green and she's going to Noel's party. Ten bucks says that's where Allie makes her dramatic return. That would be such an alley move. Absolutely. She's going to be gone for a year. Everyone's going to think she's dead. And the first thing she's going to do is go to a party. She's not at all going to come back and tell her parents she's okay or tell the police. No, she's going to go to a party. So, wait, we're going tonight? Of course we're going. But that's exactly what A wants. Yeah, I feel like we should talk about... Not again. Blair won't be the only special guest in Noel's party. Find me there tonight, pretty little liars. Oh, oh, I don't think A ever called them pretty little liars. <laughs> it's very meta. Or... All your ugly truths will come out. A. Did everyone get this? Yes, bitch! We're not just looking scared because the found out the salmonella in the Rosewood Grill. I don't know. <laughs> I thought Allie was diabolical before, but this is next level. Arr. Guys, we have to go. We have to find her and make her stop. Spence is right. We're going to that party. We're at Hannah's house. Oh, no. Apparently this is Blair's house. Hey, Lydia. Hey, nice place. Come on, let's go upstairs. Bitch moves fast. It looks like she has like rabbit ears. So this is what it's like to be alone with Blair in her bedroom. Her bedroom which I'm in for the first time and I've never fantasized about being in before. So why would I think that this is what it's like to be alone with Blair in her bedroom? Shouldn't I be thinking, oh, so I'm gonna get some. I wonder what she has to tell me. Be direct, or take your time. Um, I'm just gonna be direct. I'm not gonna dance the dance, okay? She's looking a fool, and I don't want this unofficial drama of A hanging over my head. So, why did you ask me here? I wanted to see you. It's about Lisa. What about Lisa? Yeah, what about Lisa? Things have gotten bad. The doctor says she's not waking up. Oh my god. If things were really that bad, I feel like somebody would have phoned me to tell me, okay? I shouldn't have had to learn this from you. And the only reason I learned this from you is because you move here and you don't even tell me. And I have to coincidentally bump into you. It seems all so suspicious. Maybe I think Blair's happy that Lisa's not waking up. I told her goodbye. Not like she could hear me. I bet you said, Bitch, I hope you never wake up. What changed? Nothing. That's the problem. She's not going to get better. Remember the days when it was just the three of us? Before we grew up and feelings got in the way? Of course I do. Things were so simple. We were inseparable back then. Now I feel I woke up from a dream. And suddenly it was just me, alone in a hospital room with Lisa. I'm so sorry I wasn't there for you. Like, it's not as if you could have just picked up a phone and asked me to be there. 
It is my old town. I have old friends there. I could have legitimately, le legitimately made up a reason to go back and visit you, but apparently you just decided to keep me in the dark for a year. Hmm? 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 You're here now. I mean it. Being with you, it makes me feel so much better. Good. So I have to ask, are you seeing anyone here? Like dating? Definitely not. I'm being too busy being traumatized by text messages. But all my other friends are being traumatized by text messages and they find all the time to do lots of secretive stuff. But me? No, not me. I'm just simple Lydia. Good! I've missed you so much. Oh god, I've missed you too. No, 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 no. We've missed her, but we're gonna keep our cards close to our chest, and we're not gonna tell her that. Lydia? Yeah? I'm really glad you came over. Me too. And that's gonna be the end of that, and nothing at all is gonna happen. And if we're being honest, I should have told you how I felt years ago. And now that you're here in my bedroom, all I can think about is kissing you. <laughs> Blair, you're home? <laughs> Shoot, that's my Aunt Carrie. She's going to be pissed if she finds you in here. I could sneak out of the window, like a raccoon. I really don't want to say goodbye yet. How about we hide on the roof? That sounds dangerous. No, that sounds dangerous! That doesn't sound fun! <clears throat> oh, it has an awesome view. I know this just from the two days that I've been living here. Oh, and maybe I can get that kiss. Yes, that private kiss on the roof in full view of the entire town. Should I go up on the roof with Blair? Yes, I want that kiss. Or no. 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 <laughs> and also, it costs gems to go up on the roof. So we're not falling for that. And we don't even want that kiss. No, we don't want a kiss. At all. I'd love to, but I should get going. That's too bad. But thank goodness for Noel's party. I can't wait to see you again. Same here. I picked out something for you and your friends, little liar. Girls like you should always be dearest to kill. Eh? What the? Wait, that dress was definitely not in my closet this morning. Hannah? Did you get the dress from A2? Yeah, are you going to wear it? Already have it on. The dress is super hot. Um, okay. Wait, we don't like gifts from blackmailing text message people, okay? Huh? Arya, Spencer, and Emily are wearing it too. We don't find this suspicious at all. Okay, let me try it on then. I'll, I'll try the red leather dress from A, something casual, or something classic. Um, I'm not just gonna put on a dress that some stranger has snuck into my house, put in my closet, and it expects me to wear it. That's straight up shady. It could be lined with anthrax or something. So, I'm gonna wear something classic. Classic old Lydia. I love this. Try something else. Well, no, I, to be honest, this, this isn't classic Lydia. Classic Lydia shows off her le 
legs. So we're gonna try something else. Oh, here we go. This is nice. Oh wait, this is the thing we already wear. So something casual. I mean, I like it. Um, but let's just see what the dress looks like. Oh, I hate it. No, no, I hate it. We're just gonna wear something casual. Don't you think I know what goes on at a Noel cabin party? Really? This... I'm having so much trouble with this sentence. I'm just... I'm so overcome by Dad's beautiful face. Don't you think I know what goes on at Noel's cabin parties? But... The answer is no. Oh, Dad, I love it when you're forceful. Dad, please get angry, stay calm. Or, they don't need to. Ooh, ooh. I like it when Dad's mad. Maybe I should get mad. You're not being fair. You said Rosewood would be a fresh start. Don't you trust me? How can you ask me that after you practically drove us out of Riverbank? Jeez, harsh. Are you going to keep punishing me for that forever? Go to your room! I refuse to be spoken to this way. This is so unfair! Spencer? Lydia, how'd it go today with Blair? No, 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 I don't want to talk about that. I want to vent to you about my dad! <laughs> He shouted at me. I think he's hitting me. What? Nothing. Um, hanging out with Blair. It was really good. Oh, my Spence, my... <laughs> but Spence, my dad won't let me go to Knowles. What? Why? He's being ridiculous. He's being a complete douche. He says it's... Oh my god! Spence, I gotta go. When Dad closes the door, I open a window. See you at the party, eh? Like, just run to the window and see who put the ladder up there. Like, it's not hard. Oh! We won one gem. That, that episode two complete. Okay. So... I think we made good choices. Good choices, people. I'm very proud of Lydia. She didn't kiss that wicked Blair. And she didn't wear the dress that A told her to. Yes, I, I'm liking this. We're going to try and keep Lydia on the straight and narrow. And sleep with her dad at the first chance she gets. So on the next episode of Pretty Little Liars, the abridged series. Episode 3. A dangerous game of cat and mouse unfolds at Noel's party. You and the girls try to hunt down your stalker, but A has a sinister surprise in store for you. So, join me next time, and we'll play episode 3 and make more good choices. Definitely not bad choices that could lead us down the road of drugs and alcohol and underage sex. No, we're not going to do that at all. We're going to be a good girl.